everybody, Rosie here. Um, I am doing a preview for a sale that we are going to have. Um, I think we're going to simulcast this sale on YouTube, but we're for sure going to have it on the deals page or on the uh, Fenton page, our Facebook page, Rosie's Fenton Art Glass Bid to Win Auctions. Um, but I'm doing the preview here. I don't have really have my equipment with me, but we're going to do a preview. Um, we have had a terrible windstorm. Today is the 11th of December, and that is a Saturday. Um, and we are experiencing power outages right now. So we'll either have this sale on um, Saturday night if we can if we get our power back, or Monday, which will be the 13th. So I'm just showing you. Look at the bluebirds. That is glowy glass that will glow. That is an early 70s piece. Here we have a beautiful JIP. Um, and this one has a butterfly on it, or the dragonfly, I don't know what one that is. Look at this one here. Wow. That is a big 9-inch vase with an amethyst crest. The original Fenton sticker is on it. And that's a big butterfly, too. Mary Gregory-style teal vase there with the little girl sitting on the fence with the rooster. And behind that... You see a beautiful teal vase. This one was made for Lennox. It has the Lennox mark on the bottom. Very few vases that Fenton actually made for Lennox glass. Here we have a beautiful three-in-one crimp basket. This is a tulip basket done in glossy rosaline with a beautiful rainbow iridized crust. A pink crust opalescent swirl basket. That's about eight inch. An Alice Farley bear there with the original Fenton sticker. We go down here, We in the corner, we have an Empress vase in ebony. A short tail bird with uh, Swarovski crystals, if I'm saying that right. Um, this rose bowl says something about... In the Garden of Friends, there's always blooms or something like that. I don't have my holder, so I can't really. But that's pretty and green. If you look back there, you'll see a, a bell with a covered bridge and frit around all those flowers. That is a music box. Here's a heart box. I'll show you the lid on this one. That is so pretty. Dainty little pink flowers on it. In the back there, we have a Charlton beaded melon. Again, this, this will go up Saturday the 11th of December, unless we don't have electricity. If that's the case, I'll change the date on this, and the, it will be for Monday the 13th. There's another little bell. And here is Monday. Here is um, peach roses. We have two of these hummingbird boxes. I apologize. We have no power right now, so I don't have lighting here, but you can kind of see. I'll go clo as close as I can. We have a log cabin fairy lamp and a log cabin Burmese basket back there. Then we have more of the custard Burmese. This rose bowl right here is really awesome. Look at the color in that one. Then we have some cameo glass. Look at that middle vase, that swirl vase. That's from the 60s. Um, very rare to find one. In, it, just wonderful piece. Here we have a couple green pieces. One shoe has the shamrocks. Uh, those are also ac accented with crystals. And then we have the bear with the green heart to match. Um, peach roses with the flip top vase. That will also glow. This this vase glows too. This picture glows too. Very interesting piece. Um, I've not seen that one before. That one is Fenton. Um, cameo Lily of the Valley. A carnival basket with the diamond uh, flower print, or I, I don't know what they call that one. It's not. Is it Daisy and Diamond? I don't know. But you guys know better than I do. Uh, here we have the big strawberry heart candle box. Candy box, excuse me. 
And this is You Are My Sunshine back there. That is in a teal green with the original fountain sticker. Down here we have these two big vases we didn't get to last time. These are very tall with the raised rose design and the flower base. Those will go up. I also have some, some more little animals I'm going to fill the shelves with. Uh, I just don't have time to put them out now. We're working with getting generators and everything going. Um, I worked out here to set this up because of the natural light, and it was easy for me to set this up. So that is why I'm doing this a little bit early. Um, it is Saturday, December 11th. I don't anticipate being able to do this tonight. If we do, we do. Um... If we don't have electricity on, Trudy will be on tomorrow, which is the 12th on Sunday. So we would move this sale till Monday the 13th. And hopefully we have power for Trudy. Yes. Uh, I know a lot of the country is dealing with these winds today, and we consider ourselves lucky at the moment that we just have winds. But the first gust this morning at 9 o'clock took it out. So they're saying that we will have power by 9 o'clock, or 5 o'clock tonight. If that's the case, we'll go on. If not, we'll make a decision on whether we should even uh, do it tonight. Because we can't, we do have a generator, we can do it, but we'll probably just wait. Okay, so keep your fingers crossed, we can go on tonight, the 11th. If not, we will move it to Monday, the 13th. Have a good day.